It's Amanda, what's up? I hope you all are having an amazing day. It's about to get a little bit better after you see everything I came across in this thrift trip, bro. The section I've been gravitating towards first in my past videos has been the winter boot section. I've been really into the style of boot. I'm not saying that these specific ones are really giving what the Mesa Margiela, Prada, Chanel ones I have liked on the real real are giving. They're a little bit scuffed up. The heel's a little bit too tall, but you can see the general vibe of what these boots are trying to give. I found these maroon boots in amazing condition. Definitely not a boot that I would go out of my way to buy new. I want to call these Robin Hood boots. Like that is just immediately what my mind goes to when I look at boots like this. And I actually ordered a pair and unfortunately they're too small for me and I could actually cry about it. These ones, I'm not really crazy about the buckle. They're kind of giving more of a Skechers vibe than Matrix high fashion. Every single thrift trip I've come across leather pointed toe mid calf boots and none of them have fit names so my hunt continues after the boots i head over to the women's jeans section i found these silver jeans which as you guys know i have my fair share of silver jeans i'm no longer in the market for just kind of basic low-rise jeans like if you're not offering me something i don't already have bitch you're staying on the rack and neither of these jeans did offer me anything so i didn't pick them up these pants were crazy okay these are not my style at all. I feel like people that don't thrift would just imagine the racks full of pants like that. I kind of wanted to address some comments I've gotten where people have asked if you can't find low-rise jeans in your size, if you could buy a bigger size jean so that they would fit more low-rise. And I would say you can if the rise isn't too high. Like you can tell with these, they're probably a mid-rise. But since they'd be a little bit too big for me on the waist, they would definitely fit pretty low. I've definitely spoke into existence finding hooded t-shirt sweaters every single time I thrift. So I found this Nike blue and gray one. Not really here for the blue, unfortunately. If it was all gray, that bitch would be in my cart though. Then I went to the women's pants section. These capris are fucking crazy. I don't know what it is. I just keep buying capris in the middle of December. Somebody stop me, okay? Have I worn any of the capris I bought? No. It's items like this that I just know I will never be able to find again. I wouldn't be able to buy them at a retail store. I'm just so drawn to. Moving on to a bit of a more wearable piece, I found these garage pants, which I'm obsessed with. And I'm just taking it now that I don't have any green pants. Like, I don't understand how how that has happened, how I've even been able to put together outfits for the last 21 years of my life without pants like this, but now I don't have to wonder any longer because I have them. I also found them in gray, which I'm so happy about. I found these linen pants, which are actually by Reitman's. Like, there's a first for everything, I guess. I feel like you shouldn't buy at Reitman's until you're at least like 50, but I did buy these and I was just drawn to the fact that they were flowy, white, linen. They have adjustable drawstrings you can actually tighten. I have a vision, okay? These are like a very long jort capri vibe. So I'm looking at the fucking pants and I see this North Face puffer looking at me right in the eyes. I run over because it's silver. Probably the best jacket I've come by at the thrift store. However, there are some stains on it. And just because of the texture of the fabric, the color, it's so obvious and I'm not buying something with stains on it. In the lingerie section, I found this really nice fitted white tank top. The bag section is also a priority because I'm still looking for my black shoulder bag. Have not yet found it, but I did find this amazing cargo bag. I love it so much, as you guys probably could imagine. I love the fact that it has these little belt details on the two pockets in the front. The actual strap is adjustable. And how have I not mentioned that the brand is called whatever? <laughs> like, where's your bag from? Whatever. This is embarrassing that this even touched the other items in my cart, to be honest, because I hate this. But that's how desperate I am for a black bag that I literally picked that up off the rack. So my apologies. I was kind of inspired by my new whatever bag to pick up that pink and green belt. And then I checked out the winter accessories, looking for a little skinny scarf, matching glove hat combo, obviously. The only thing I found that had 
like the slightest potential was this star scarf and it is an infinity scarf so I was planning on maybe chopping it and then sewing it like again that's how down bad I am looking for a skinny scarf I found so many skirts okay we're starting off with this khaki green one which I love immediately looking at this I thought it would be a little bit of a baggier fit and I imagined chopping it where the two slits are but you guys will see in the try on it fits completely different I found this Levi's denim skirt the wash of the denim isn't something I would gravitate towards I don't know why I put it in my cart to be honest it's because I didn't know what I was about to find kind of cargo skirt with the drawstrings which I really like and then this bitch this is probably the best thing I think I've thrifted in a while just because I know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it I wore this the night after I thrifted this unwashed like that's how much I love this skirt it's from American Eagle like do not play with me I will be wearing American Eagle only from now on at first glance I was like eh whatever and then I realized this is a vintage Stussy skirt I am buying this skirt just because it's vintage Stussy I don't care okay not just because like obviously it's cute but I'm not dying over it I just loved the tag and the subtle details so I got it I had to three years ago I thrifted a skirt similar to this and I actually dyed it black again with the unique pieces that I know I'll never come by in my life again and maybe for good reason I found this gray I like I don't know I don't know what this is you'll see it in the try on I checked out the women's hoodies and I found this sweater which was just not it because the green is not the right tone It's giving me M&Ms. You know what I mean? Kind of a washed out green It needs to be a little bit punchier more vibrant, but I still added it to the car. I don't know why Immediately I was reminded of a Miu Miu ad I saw within the last couple days The model was wearing a sweater very similar to this in an outfit that I was obsessed with I never buy pieces like this from the thrift store like this has to be the first graphic Long sleeve that I've ever bought that's not vintage as well. This is from lucky brand I'm obsessed with the dice the gray the waffle knit. I found this pre distressed sweater I'm literally scared to show this because I know all the comments are gonna be like Where is the distressed sweater video and I promise you it's coming But in the meantime, I'm telling you just grab scissors and go to town like you don't need to follow tutorial But I will do a video just for you guys the vest section is another kind of recent section that I've been obsessed with I found this all white fur vest which I feel like you can actually tell how soft this is through the camera it is insane blanket vibes I'm obviously not understanding why they chose to do cable knit details like for what reason was that done I don't know I found a fake Carhartt vest with the label literally peeling off I'm so happy I found this because first of all it kind of matches the skirt perfectly like I could definitely get away with wearing it as a matching set second of all I don't have a top like this I found this 0 0.0 pristine condition blue leather coat And then I found this fur metallic coat, which it's not really giving me anything, but I thought I would try it on for fun just because I was in the coat section feeling nice. I honestly sometimes circle back into the sections I've already looked at because often the workers are putting out new clothes literally the entire time. And I found these Harley Davidson combat boots in this tan leather and obviously it's real leather $24.99. Unfortunately, they're a size five. I found these shoes, which I thought were sick, but I don't know. Buying running shoes that are used, it's not even that it grosses me out, it's just that they've already been shaped to the person's foot and I feel like it's just not gonna be comfortable. These are all of the finds on a rack, just to show you guys how many things I found and now we're gonna get to trying on. You can always tell what I was most excited about by the order in which I try shit on. First thing we're doing, North Face coat. Obsessed, the fit is amazing, honestly, and it is cute. Like I can completely acknowledge I could have bought this jacket. I just don't have the room for it if it's stained. It's nice, but it's not a hundred. I have many fur coats, which I know I would get a lot more wear out of versus this vest. I was not expecting this 0.0 jacket to fit me so well. 
but I didn't get it. I'm really trying to minimize, I know it doesn't seem like it, but my wardrobe to pieces that I know are so versatile, I'll wear all the time. This is a unique piece, but I just, I'm not dying to have it. I already knew I was not getting this coat from the jump. I just don't like the metallic with the fur. To me, it looks very cheap. As you guys know, I go thrifting weekly, and if I were to buy everything I found, I simply would have nowhere to sleep because my whole room would be covered in clothes. I wasn't crazy about this sweater. It's definite inspo for what a sweater could offer me, but it just is not being provided in this one, so I didn't get it. This shirt, on the other hand, obsessed, immediately put it on and knew I was getting it. I just love wearing stuff like this. It's so comfortable, and I know I'll wear it all the time at home, just chilling. This distressed sweater I kind of debated on, but I did decide to get it because it would be such a good layering piece. When you distress shit, like, uh, it's kind of inevitable that it does unravel a little bit, so the fact that this is literally already distressed for me and won't unravel is nice, and I can layer with other distressed things. Also, it was $3.99. I really liked this top. I was just, like, kind of unsure about how much of my boob it would actually cover. I've yet to try it on without a shirt underneath, so I'll update you guys in the haul if it makes it to the haul. I didn't even show that I found this shirt, but I found this shirt. I'm not here for the quarter sleeves. There's so many shirts like this that have sick graphics, but then quarter sleeves, like vibe is ruined. This is the gray cropped situation. Not something that I would really be grabbing for, <laughs> for a day-to-day -day wear. The Brandy Melville tank top. It fit really well, but it just, no. Immediate yes, you guys can already imagine. I'm obviously getting this. I bought it, I've fucking worn it. Actually wearing it wrong in this try-on, so it does look a little bit off, but I'm absolutely obsessed. Everything about the skirt, color, buttons, length. I also knew I was getting these pants as well as soon as I saw them on the rack. This is the skirt that I thought would fit me a little bit baggier and I planned on cutting, but I actually do not mind. I'm gonna play around with styling it. I feel like over the right pair of pants, it also could be a vibe. I'm just so obsessed with skirts over pants when it's done correctly. It's the most amazing thing in the entire world. Like, I'm not joking. This is the Stussy skirt. Kind of hard to tell, you know, the vibe over jeans that are kind of a similar wash. I'm gonna be swapping out skirts in my wardrobe, I feel like, very soon, because I have a lot of skirts in this exact silhouette. I don't even know why I took the time to hold this up, because I was not getting it. Again, items like this, it's just, I don't know what it is. I'm so drawn to them, and I need to own them. So I got these, and now looking at them, they look so heavy, so I'm very curious to see how they're actually gonna fit me. With these linen pants, the selling feature was the fact that the drawstring was actually adjustable. I kind of like when you pull it too tight, and then the drawstring sits above the pants. After trying everything on, I need to find a secluded place to just contemplate the things I actually need. This process is so long. Like, I'm at the thrift store two to three hours every single time. I go and film these videos. I'm going through all my finds, a lot of things I'm getting, so I just left them in the cart. I also needed to try on the shoes and the bags to show you guys what I was feeling. It literally just took me holding up this bag to question my entire existence and put it on the rack. And then this black bag, again, not here for it, it's just so flimsy. This bag I loved, obviously. This belt was too short, and then the scarf, I was just getting too many things to justify getting that and DIYing it for $4.49, like no. You guys know that after I go through all of my clothes, decide what I'm getting, I treat myself by looking in the homeware section, not by buying anything, because I literally never find anything in the homeware section, but I look and just de-stress. And then I checked out and walked home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.